Greetings from Terry here at D-Lab. In the shop today, I have a Fender Blackface Champ with a hum issue. I've got it turned on. Let's take a listen to the speaker, see if we can hear it, and we'll get inside and see if we can fix it. So here's the Champ. I have the volume control all the way down, treble and bass about midway. Let's take a listen to that speaker. So you can hear a definite 60 hertz hum. And there is some kind of a little snappy poppy lightning storm going on too. So I'm going to pop her open, but I do suspect a bad filter cap. Here's a champ on the bench being tested. I'm looking at the power supply voltage, which is sitting about 412 volts, as you can see. Swing over here to the scope. Got approximately 12 volts of ripple. I'm on 5 volt per division on the scope. That's really not too bad. So now I'm wondering about this filter cap. So I think it's time to give this thing the Mr. Obvious inspection. So let's sweep the underside. You can see there's been a new power cable installed. Three conductor type with the ground. Here's your rectifier tube. Highlight board. Filter cap. 6V6. And over here, the 12AX7. I noticed something right off the bat. I'm going to get the magnifying glass and we're going to zoom in here. I'm going to show you what I spotted. Here we go. Close up on the 12AX7. Take a look at that lead right there. There's a crack right around the solder connection. This is something I see quite often on these amps because they just push the wires through and solder them. They don't have a good mechanical bond wrapping the wire around the terminal. So you get these cracks. Alright, so here is another terrible solder connection. This is the hot lead going to the primary of the output transformer. You can see it's cracked all the way around. And there's very little solder on the wire itself. So we need to fix that up too before we retest. So I resoldered the bad connections and we got the amp fired back up. The hum remains. So I'm back to that filter cap. All right, so the power supply is pretty much discharged. And what I'm gonna do is we're going to pop the leads off the filter cap and we'll substitute in new capacitors and see what that does to the hum and we'll look at the scope and see what that does to the ripple. There's the main filter cap with one lead disconnected. That's the main lead off of the rectifier tube and what I did is I substituted in a couple caps here to represent what that value was. So here is my high voltage and now let's take a look at the ripple we're only at about 7 volts. Now if you remember correctly, we had about 2 to 3 times that initially with the filter cap that was installed. So, I would say that main filter cap needs to be swapped out. Let's do that and retest. So there's no doubt in my mind that the uh, filter cap is leaking because it's very stable now. But what I did notice is when I tap on the 6V6, watch the scope. So we got some microphonics in the 6V6 also. First off though, let's get that filter cap changed and then we'll look at other noise issues. New filter cap is installed. You can see this one has an external cap also because I only had a two section cap. And the owner said, go ahead and install that, but keep the original, which I'm going to do. Here's our ripple. We're down to a little over 5 volts, peak to peak, which is about a third of what we originally had. So the only thing now that I have to do is track down a little bit of hissing and popping, which could either be a tube or it could be these little cathode caps. So this amp has three of these old 25 microfarad caps. If you look right here, you can see leakage around the positive terminal. Over here, I don't see much around that guy, but I do in this one too. Back to the preamp cap, I checked him. This one's wide open. The other two still have some capacitance, but they're low, so I'm going to go ahead and swap them out. So the caps did the trick on the 60 cycle home. 
but I still have these little noise spikes. Watch the scope. I'm going to tap on the output tube. See it? So, let's swap out that tube and see if it goes away. Well, it appears as though I may have the wrong tube. So I'm tapping on 6v6. I still see some noise, right? But look what happens when I hit the old 12AX7. Boom. I can even hear this one. Hear that? So, it looks like the 12AX7's are culprit. Let's swap it out. This looks like an old Baldwin 12AX7, probably out of an organ. I replaced it with a Softec LPS model, which I have very good luck with. Let's take a look at that noise now. Nothing. We got it. So now that it looks like she's all fixed up, I have a dummy load in the place of the speaker. I'm going to run an audio generator through it. Let's take a look on the scope. There's a sine wave. Looks beautiful. So I would say she's good to go. I'm going to get her reassembled and arrange for a guy to come over and play it. We'll make sure it sounds as good as it looks. So the little Fender Champ lives again with no hum. Great performance. All needed. New filter, a couple new tubes, a couple new caps, a little soldering, a little love from D-Lab. So next, let's see what it sounds like. Well, that sounds nice. That sounds so nice. Seal of approval. Love. All right, man. <laughs> I like this thing. Yeah.